What is up, MFers, and welcome to my last rendezvous at beautiful Stockton Lake in Missouri. I'm super jacked for today because I'm doing an awesome little challenge for you guys, and because we're finally going to have some fish catching weather, which might include some rain, so, so be prepared for that to get a little bit wet today. But my challenge I'm going to do is a big bait versus small bait challenge, and when I classify those two, we're gonna call small baits anything smaller than three inches, and big baits are anything greater than six inches, so we're gonna throw some big swim baits around. I might just throw an umbrella rig in that big baits category, because it's it's over six inches in length, right? probably cheating, but whatever. Regardless though, the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do 30 minutes with each. I'm gonna start with the small baits, fishing for 30 minutes, see what my weight adds up to, and then we're gonna throw the big baits for 30 minutes, see what my weight adds up to for that. So we're gonna fish them for four hours total. I'm gonna weigh up all the bass, and we're gonna see big baits or small baits, which came out to be the victor. But first, something else that's very, very exciting, it's right here. We're gonna do our little mystery tackle box unboxing video real quick, and we're gonna use some of the baits in that for the challenge today as well. You know, Mystery Tackle Box is a company that supports me. It's an awesome company because it's like Christmas every single month on that box. They have boxes if you like bass fishing, if you're a beginner, if you like panfish, catfish, everything ice fishing even if you still got ice fishing and the great thing is they support me but they also help you guys out as well if you use the promo code milk m-i-l-k that's my promo code you'll save ten dollars off your very first box so you get to try this out basically for free you don't got to be locked in for the whole year or six months or anything you can just go try it one time if you want to but i know you guys aren't going to want to stop that subscription just like me and everyone else i've talked to all these mfers that have subscribed to mystery tackle box they love it because it's literally a gift box of fishing lures every single month. What's freaking better than that? And not only that, but I will be giving that box right there away at the end of the video. So stick around to the end of the video. I'll tell you how you can win that entire mystery tackle box straight to your door. Anyways, let's get into the baits and then let's get some tied on. Go catch some slaunches out there. Okay, real quick, let's open this mystery tackle box pro box for February. I don't even know what month it is anymore and see what we got inside. So we got our bait card. This thing says everything that's inside. Looks like we have the Lucky John Viacara. So yep, cool looking little lipless bait in there. That guy looks like it'll catch a fish, especially today. Got the Venom Lures Mad Tom. Looks like those are $4.99. So pretty good expensive bait. Plus it's a Ned Rig. You know, Ned Rigs get bit around here in these Ozark Licks. Jacked about that one. Got the Biospawn Exo Stick. This is like a Seth Fighter exclusive design. I used this last month when I was filming for them. Really cool bait on a, a wacky rig or a power spinner rig. And speaking of that, we have the Carl's power spinner rib. So we'll, we'll take a look at those in a little bit. You screw that into the end, gives it a really, really cool look. Next one up is the wacky drop shot hook, exclusive to Mystery Tackle Box stickies. It's a, just a great wacky hook. Next bait is the Berkeley Cutter 110. You know, obviously Cutter 110 jerk bait. This guy will get bait around here. And the swim jig, you guys know I love swim jigs. It's the Stan Sloan Zorro swim jig. Looks like it comes in a really cool sexy shad color. That dude is gonna get munched as well. And then one more bait, we got the uh, the Smart Baits Gobi. That's a cool looking bait. It says it changes colors. How freaking cool is that? That's an example of a bait that I probably wouldn't have ever picked up. And now that it's in my mystery tackle box, allows me to try something new. So super jacked about that. Anyways, let's get some baits tied on. Get out to the lake. All right, MFers, let's get this damn day underway. So here's what we got. We're gonna start 30 minutes with the small baits, and then we're gonna go 30 minutes with the big baits. Four hours, total weight of each one wins, whichever one that has the larger weight, obviously. So here's what I'm starting with on the small side. I'm gonna go with the six cents flat 75, which I know it might be close to three inches with the bill, but without the bill, it's not three inches, so. I make the rules, get out of me. We got this little bait, this uh, this one by Venom Lures on a Ned Rig, so it's smoke purple. You know that's gonna catch some damn fish. Six cents curve crankbait. Also probably illegal to throw in six or seven states in the country because it's freaking killer. This little guy, this Vicara lipless bait. I'll show you a couple ways we'll throw that today. And then I got the smallest little trimmed up. Look how cute that little baby finesse jig is. It's only about a, I cut it right to three inches actually. It's right out of three inch. I put a little tiny baby rage menace on there with a little finesse head. That's gonna get bit. And now competitors on the big side. We got the uh, six inch trash fish on a jig head right there. Got the eight inch mega bass mag draft. And then like I said, I had to cheat 
throw the Alabama rig. We got three inch swim baits on there, but you know what? It's about nine inches, 10 inches long total. So whatever, it's a big bait. So let's get started. I'm jacked. You guys can see, got a bit of a rain situation going on here. Pretty misty right now. It's supposed to turn into a possible thunderstorm in about an hour and a half. But let's get started with the small baits. I'm gonna start with the six cents curve, cover some water, see what the fish are on today. Hopefully see if they'll eat this moving bait. You think they would in this moving water. It is right at seven o'clock. So 30 minutes starts now. Just made the switch up to this uh, custom painted six cents curve crankbait I made for, I painted up for you guys in that video about a month ago. Low light conditions, clean water. That's usually when I can get bit with this bait. That's when I like to throw this color. So let's see if it's productive. Come on. Oh, hey, what's up? There we go. Finally. Ooh, that's a decent one too. He's way up shallow. Oh no. Uh, well, pass. First one on the finesse jig to be about a two and a half pounder up on this nice chunky rock bank. It's somewhere to start though. We uh, been fishing for about 20 minutes, so my time is almost up. Pretty sad I didn't get that guy in the boat, but good to see they are biting. Oh, hey, Mr. Beaver. There we go. Finally, look at that. Picked up a spinning rod and I caught one. Hopefully, hopefully we can get this guy to the boat. He doesn't feel too bad. He's heavy. Probably just because I'm on a little wimpy spinning rod, though. Nah, no, he's not bad. Not a big guy, but not bad. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Picked up that little Venom Ned type. Oh, and it just fell out. How nice is that? Look at that. We're going to throw him on the scale. That's going to be fish number one for the small bait side. And it actually came pretty much right at the buzzer. It's almost, uh, my 30 minutes is almost up. 1.57, 157. Not a big one, but definitely a good one to uh, get started on. Get him back in the water. You think about it? There he goes. All right, on the board, 157. We'll put that on the phone for the small side. One thing I definitely did notice on that one and the one that we lost, uh, it was on this chunkier rock type bank. So we had a bite uh, on chunky rock bank on the inside of a secondary point. Now we got a bite on the chunkier rocks on the inside of this secondary point. So maybe we're putting something together. You know, I keep throwing the moving baits around. They don't seem to get bit, even though we do have low light. But I'm thinking maybe since it's slick calm like it was the other day, that uh, bottom contact baits are gonna be the deal. I don't know how well that's gonna lend to our big bait side of the competition today, but there's only one way to find out. Let's go throw some around. Woo, I could do without the fog. That ish is scary sometimes. I'm gonna start with the old cheater rig, get her started. See if we can get a bite on this guy. I kind of see on this, out further on these secondary points, I've seen some suspended fish out here. So that's when you want to pick this dude up and I'm thinking really, you know, cause it's low light conditions and this guy really has a big draw power. That's a good one to start with. So we're gonna throw the A-rig around for a little bit, see if that does something for us. Oh, good one. Good one on the swim bait. On the swim bait, on the trash fish. Oh man, I don't even have the net out either. I don't know if this is a big, big one or like a three pounder or what, but it feels decent. I was just grinding that trash fish and it felt just a little bit mushy. Oh man. Yes. Hell yeah, that's not a bad one at all. Look at that, look at that trash fish is in its mouth. Way back there. Oh man, that's sick. That just goes to show you it doesn't take a giant fish to eat a six inch swim bait. This is the six cents head, little trash fish swim bait. Let's get this guy on the scale, get her back in the water. Not a giant, not a true brute, but I'm jacked. Catching them on a swim bait? They won't freaking touch a crankbait and they're eating a swim bait. Fish will wait. 
295, so right about three pounds. Man, that's a sick fish. Let's get her back in the water, get her released. Ah, messy. Yes, swim bait fish. Man, that was crazy, and it really goes to show you today they definitely won on the bottom because I'm fishing this road bed. I'm fishing up over the top. I'm sitting the boat in about 23, 24 feet of water, casting up on it and just kind of dragging down both sides of it through the A rig up there, through the mag draft up there, kind of higher up midway in the water column. But then I've been casting this uh, this trash fish there. I figured there had to be a fish there. It's a nice road bed in this middle of this creek. So I was just like slow turning the handle and I felt just a little bit, I thought I felt a tick, but it might've been a rock, but then it just got like mushy on me. And uh, it was that one, but I will freaking take it. The trash fish comes correct today. Oh, just had one throw slack in my A-rig. I saw a couple brush piles there. Oh man, he hit it again. Must be just hitting the spinner blades, but I saw a couple brush piles out here in like 20, 18, 20 feet of water. So I started throwing the A-rig over the tops of them. And first, one of the first casts with it, two bites. All right. God, tell me there's not a big old nasty slaunch to soar living up there. Gotta be. All right, one hour down, definitely having a good time with this. We've had a period with small baits, period with big baits. The first period we, we lost the better fish and then we caught the, the second one on that bottom contact bait. And then the second period here, caught that one of the trash fish so we had a bunch of bites in the Alabama rig which kind of pisses me off when you don't hook them on the A rig you know if I set that thing down on my boat it'll hook my shoe my carpet three different rods the side of my boat my handle for my trolling motor but I got fish hitting it from all different directions they can't get hooked so that kind of pissed me off but regardless fun to be out fishing today obviously not a fire bite seems like we might have to drag around a little bit until this wind picks up or the rain picks up to catch some fish but on to the small baits let's move locations All right, never fished this spot before on this bank, but it's got good wind on it, so let's throw that curve. There we go. There's an A-rig fish. About damn time. What do we got here? Yep, the largemouth on the old chartreuse one. What do you know? All right, big baits. Chalk one up for the big baits on a bluff end with the wind blowing on it. That's something we can duplicate here. There's a lot of those. I like it. All right, total weight one, 186. Not a big guy, but fun on the A-Rig. Chalk up 186 for the big bait. There we go. There's another one on the A-Rig. A little bit better, maybe. Come here, bud. Yeah, he didn't get the uh, chartreuse one. Oh, I barely got him. I felt him tick, 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 and then boom. But big enough to throw on. Let's do it. He is 197. So we got a 186 and a 197, about the same size in the A rig, same spot. Pa pow, got it all spot locked right there. So we are not moving an inch. We're gonna make some more casts right here. I think there's a couple fish. Okay, small bait time. Gross. This stuff sucks. Slimy garbage. There we go. God, he thumped it so many times before he finally got it. Ooh, nice one. Another A-rig fish. Come here. Hell yeah. Not a bad one at all. Out here on this bluff end. Boom. Good A-rig fish. I'll take it today. Official weight. 292. Not a bad one on the A-rig. Catching some decent quality fish here. Nothing giant, nothing tiny. I'll take them. Another one for the big baits. All right, little baits getting one last chance to shine. See if they can come from behind here in the last period. I'm gonna fish some of these bluff ends 
with the little baits where I caught them on the A rig, and yeah, we completely lost our wind. So I don't know if this is going to be the deal. Been a tough, tough day out here. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of limiting myself to these baits or if I'm not moving around enough, I'm not fishing slow enough. I don't really know, but it's been tough. There's only one period left though. Let's make something happen. Well guys, that is it. Tough day on the water today. Tough four hours in the water, I should say. I don't know if I would have cut some more if I had my full eight to 10 hour day for a tournament or something, but it really was tough. And you guys probably didn't see it, but I threw the kitchen sink at them. I threw a lot of baits you guys probably didn't even see that won't make the video because I didn't catch anything on them. Obviously by far the big baits got it done today. My total with the big baits was 9.72 pounds. Of course, a small baits. We only had the one fish, it was a 157. So my best five were 11. 29 which really it isn't terrible for a four hour day you know one more kicker fish probably get you a check in a tournament here so it wasn't terrible but always fun to get down fish some open water uh, and fish a lake i'm not familiar with i learned some things while i was down here and i caught some fish at the same time you guys probably here because you you want to know how you can win that mystery tackle box that entire box i will ship it to one of you guys so three steps we're going to do like always go subscribe to melican fishing go hit the thumbs up and then i want you guys to comment what challenge video you want me to see in the future i know i did that once before and you guys had some really really good ideas so go comment what challenge video you guys want to see a week from today i'll use a random comment generator pick a winner and, and then i'll go down and make sure you're subscribed to melican fishing so be sure to subscribe and i'll get that mystery tackle box pro box for february ship to your house now i know the the big bait versus small bait thing it's it's an experiment that's what fishing should be it should be an experiment it doesn't mean the big baits are always better than small baits obviously it means that today in the locations on this one lake that i threw them on they were better and that's just how that went you know i think doing a challenge like this uh, it helps you become more well-rounded because it forces you to throw baits and go find different areas to throw the specific baits that you've limited yourself to which will make you better in the long run more well-rounded as an angler but i gotta go find somewhere to get my video uploaded because i haven't in the last three days because of this bad wi-fi hopefully somewhere in kansas city and then i'm heading back home and then i'll be on my next adventure so i will catch you guys very soon thank you for taking the time to watch this video i'm out of here peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> i'm not sorry i can't stop with a love like mine